When you first receive the Noise Pro DL noise dosimeter shipment, confirm you have received everything you ordered. You should have the correct number of units, faceplate opener, extra batteries, instruction manual, software CD, IR data transfer cable, USB conversion cable, calibration certificate, which is located behind the top foam panel of the case, and calibrator. Although all units are recalibrated prior to shipment, we strongly recommend you pre-calibrate each unit before using. When unpacking the rental instrument, be sure to save all packing material and the original shipping box. The outside of this box will contain the prepaid return shipping label and resealing tape you will need to ship the items back. To pre-calibrate, remove the protective faceplate with a one-quarter turn to the left. Untangle the microphone. Here's a tip. Do not remove the microphone from the unit as it might cause damage. Turn on the unit and push the calibration button. Remove the windscreen from the microphone. Turn on the calibrator. Insert the microphone into the calibrator. Press enter and adjust with up or down arrows as necessary to reach 114.0 decibels. Push enter to save the pre-calibration. This will show up on the report with a time and date stamp for the record. Calibration is now complete. Press Escape to return to the main menu. To start the survey, attach the unit to the subject. Another tip. Place the unit so that the microphone wire will not come in contact with any machinery the subject may be operating and place the mic away from a face shield to minimize extraneous noise from the mic bumping the shield. Push Run and look for the arrow on the bottom right hand side of the unit. This indicates the unit is in the run mode. You can now replace the faceplate if you desire. The unit can run continuously for approximately 36 hours on one set of batteries. To end the survey, push the pause key and then push and hold the off button for five seconds. If it is necessary to change the batteries, open the battery compartment using the opener Remove the old batteries and replace with fresh ones. Close it back up. Perform a post calibration before downloading any data. This gives you a post calibration time and date stamp for your report. Set this up the same way as the pre calibration. The instrument recognizes that this is a post calibration for this survey. You will not be able to make any adjustments on your post calibration reading. It should be within a few tenths of a decibel of the original calibration. Data can be downloaded and a report printed by Galson or by you. If you want Galson to do this, just repack everything and send back with instructions for us to download the data for you. To download the data yourself, turn the unit on and push the COM button. Load the CD and follow the instructions on your PC. Here's a tip. When the instructions come up, scroll to the very end to see that you should use trial as the serial number you are being requested to supply. This trial period is good for 60 days, and if you need the software for longer than 60 days, call and Galson will get you an extension. To connect the infrared cable to the USB cable to the PC serial port, you must install the USB driver from the supplied CD, or you can infrared directly to the PC. Place the end of the IR cable in line with the unit's infrared receptacle. The infrared will work from one inch to one foot away from the unit. Follow the instructions on the PC. From Toolbar, click Setup, Systems Options, Communication. Unless you know the data port you are using, by trial and error, select the communications portal and click OK. Click on Noise Mode and add Noise Pro to the instrument database. Make sure the infrared cable and instrument are aligned. Click Listen. On the unit, push ID, then click Yes on the software, then Done. Click Retrieve Instrument Data, click Retrieve, and wait until done. Then fill out the informational blocks to be part of your report. Click Continue. Tip. 
Do not clear data just in case the PC crashes. Hit print. It is okay to clear data at this point. Exit from software, remove cables and CD, and repack everything to be shipped back to the lab. Tip. When returning rental items, repack in the same manner you received them, reusing the original shipping box and packing material. Remove the Ziploc pouch labeled Return Shipping Material. Use the resealing tape strip to reseal the box for shipment. Peel the return shipping label and adhere it to the outside of the box. Questions? Contact Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH Live Chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at galsonlabs.com. Thank you.